think I don't know what I'm going to say. Hmm, take a deep breath. Finger comb my hair. I feel <laughs> that's what I did yesterday. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I went out to the chickens, and I think I have a new hen that's laying an egg. I think one of my little bantams has started to lay. I'll show you the egg. I wonder if you can tell which one it is. <laughs> I, think they'll know. I think you'll know. Um, just a minute. we got to flip this so that we don't stump them. Can you tell which egg? The one that's kind of rolling. Which egg it is? I wonder. I must be a little hen. There we are. It shows better this way. This little guy. See how that one just kind of floats in the... In the it's so little compared to... I'll put it next to one of the others. I have um, this little itty bitty egg. This one's from my Americana. This one is from my buff. And this one is from one of my black, one of my black, the skinny black hen. <laughs> it's got white ears, or not. Yeah, white ears. It's got white ears, so it lays a white egg. Um, somebody asked me one time about the ears. The other, this hen must have a brown, brown ears. Or red, red ears. ears. Red ears. Red ears. They're not brown, but they make a brown red egg. White. No, the white ears yeah no, they're red or white ears right right and they wanted to know where the ears were well you know it's hard to catch a chicken <laughs> you can actually google it and they'll show you a picture of the ears a lot easier because those photographers are really good at catching the the um spot i have a hard time catching it i every time they see me with a camera it seems like they run they know there's somebody's going to be taking their picture. It's like a lot of people. My my son used to hide behind a chair if he saw the camera, and I used to pretend that I wasn't videotaping him. We had the old kind of videotape. Someday I'll bring that down. I still have it, and it, but it doesn't work, which is sad. In fact, for one of the rock and roll birthday parties, we used it for the kids' rock and roll. We have two different ones, too. Well, those are newer, but I'm talking the older one with the old box. Yeah. That you had to be plugged into the box, oh, plugged yeah, into yeah. the wall, and carried around. <laughs> it was not easy. The other two are, are big, but you can be free to move around. Whereas um, the first video camera, which was a long time ago, you had to be plugged in and we had a rock and roll birthday party and wouldn't you know right in the middle of it the sound decided to die you see all these kids having a fun time dancing away a lot of chatter going on but you don't have any sound then i have um i think one of the foster children and my own daughter were learning how to talk and you see my mother's mouth going a mile a minute and you see the little kids talking but you don't hear anything and it's so sad because now I would love to be able to hear my mom's voice in that video, but you can't. There's no way of getting it because it, it's totally not there. And they used a VHS tape. Those of you that full don't size. full size, yeah, the full size, the the good, yeah, they were big. And then one of the little cameras up above uses a smaller tape but you transfer it onto a VHS and it's got a little thing that you have sit it in to, if you wanted to play it, I think, I can't remember. I know they're, they're difficult. Somebody asked me what program I used. I had two people actually ask me what program I used to edit my videos. I have a really great program, but I don't know how to use it. I've had it for since 2010 probably because it is 2010 i have the adobe elements premiere premiere oh premiere i write it every time adobe premiere elements 10 is what i i type in every time in my tags what i'm using it doesn't give you any points but it, i put it in there <laughs> 
but that's what I have. And what, at the time that we got it, you had the only choice you had was to purchase the program. Whereas now, if you have Adobe Elements or any of the, or any any of of them, the Adobe products, any of the Adobe products, you have to like it's like a membership thing. Whereas well, I think I could it. still get it. I could get updates that way, but I'm not going to. I don't even know how to use the one I've got, let alone pay somebody fifty dollars every time I want to do a video or upload something, thinking I'm going to get something fancier. I haven't learned how to do the stuff in my own program, let alone do that. You can still buy buy the program outright, but they prefer to have you do these subscription monthly subscription because you would end they get, more they, money that they get more money that's right because if you just buy it out but a lot of people you'd have to have hundreds of dollars to just mm -hmm. buy it out and a lot of people don't have that and to give fifty dollars every month or something probably is the easier way for them but if you wait save the fifty dollars for so many months until you've got the amount that it would cost then it would be cheaper in the end because then you've got it for yourself and you don't have to pay anymore and you can learn it as you go like I've tried to learn it as I go which I never really used it I used to use some of it for like um, editing was that what Photoshop. I used photo you used the Photoshop elements. I used Photoshop elements for that yeah I don't know how to do that very well either Bob who was a photographer at one time would love my stuff <laughs> but I don't even know how to use my stuff. Even the camera that I'm using right now is a really nice camera. It's a Canon. ADD. E. Oh, ADD. ADD. It's an EOS. ADD. Like the dog. The letter D. And it's really a nice camera. This one has the little screen on the side where I can see myself, but I'm not supposed to look at myself. But every now and then, I forget. And I look over there instead of looking at you. I'm supposed to look at you. You're right inside that little tiny itty bitty circle in there. I see you all just sitting there so nice. Oh, somebody's got a cup of coffee. <gasps> Who's that smoking? Put that down. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, and Jim brought me some containers today because they didn't punch out right and they're for cannabis. I said, oh sure, like I'm going to put my cannabis in that or my little stogie or my little... Of course, um, Bob did mention that bee stings are good with tobacco juice to chew up tobacco, chew, chewing tobacco and cigarettes that have been s soaked so I'd have to go raid one of those um, ashtrays by Country Fair where people leave their cigarettes and put it in the water. I don't smoke. so. And some of you have um, lost your voice. I heard that too in one of my videos. Um, laryngitis is a really... It's, it's something that... It's the inflammation of your larynx. Well, I had laryngitis for eight months and they ended up diagnosing it as pharyngitis which is the same as pretty much the same as laryngitis I've got a, a medical book that I looked it up and it's pretty much the same and I ended up taking homopathic hoarseness pills and that's how my voice actually came back it took it took it about eight months to come back but it did come back so you need to rest don't whisper whispering they say is the worst thing for laryngitis Am I a doctor? No. Do I know what I'm talking about? Mm, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And for those of you that have sore throats, a few of you have um, strep out there. I suggest, this is what I do when I have a sore throat. I've never had strep, um, but I've had pretty bad. Jim has had strep, but I have never had strep. I had sore throats. And what I, I suggest for sore throats is to use if you have those um, green olives that have the pimento inside the little red pepper inside I always wondered what that was when I was a kid I didn't know what it was but if you have those you just put one in your mouth if you like olives if you don't like olives well then you're gonna be up a crick but um, you put the olive in your mouth and just kind of suck on it chew on it whatever and if you like the olives swallow it if you don't like the olives spit it out but the salt will help bathe your throat 
whereas gargling only goes just so far whereas when you eat the olive it actually goes all the way down and so you'll find that your throat will feel better in the end that's my video for today it went from chicken eggs to sore throats it just goes all over the place and anything in between and that's it i'll talk to you tomorrow bye